Hello, this is Sean Cox from What Does Jesus Look Like? Lord Jesus, will you bless the reading of this word? 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. But there were also false prophets among the people. Even, even there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord who brought them, and bring on themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their destructive ways because of whom the way of truth will be blasphemed. By covetousness they will exploit you in, in deceptive words. For a long time their judgment has not been idle, and their destruction does not slumber. For if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell and deliver them into the chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment, did not spare the ancient world, but saved Noah, one of eight people, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood on the world of the, all of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, contending them to destruction, making them an example to those who afterward would live ungodly, and delivered light, righteous Lot, who was oppressed by the filthy conduct of the wicked. And we're going to add verse 8 in here. The righteous man dwelling among them tormented his righteous soul from day to day by seeing and hearing their lawless deeds. Does any of that sound familiar, saints, to this world we live in now? To the last days? How many heresies are pumping out the pulpit on Sunday morning? How many prayers are sermons preached at funerals about dead people in heaven? You never hear anybody preach to hell. Have you ever been to your funeral and heard somebody preach to hell? Be honest. I haven't. I'm 49 years old. I've been to enough funerals and I've seen enough people buried, including my dad and mom, that, well, I've never seen anybody preached into hell. And when, when the pastor does preach it, He's preaching them into heaven. Well, that's a lie. That's not what the Bible teaches. The dead know nothing. They're asleep. There's no hell burning yet. There hasn't been a judgment. No heaven. They're not in heaven. They're not in hell. There's been no judgment. That's why Jesus needs to come back. That's what this is about. That's why I'm reading this chapter today, out of, this out of 2 Peter today. Don't listen to your pastor. Read your Bible. While you still can, let the Holy Spirit teach you the truth. He'll show you the truth. He loves you. Jesus loves you more than anything. He wants you to walk the streets with Him. Please, Jesus, let Him hear.